your purpose and what you want to do in this phase of life all day long. But if you don't have your physical health or you're not as healthy as you could be, you won't be able to give to the world the way you want to. So they're all so closely related. And this is why we spend a lot of time talking about physical health things and it's, emotional health things. It's too. really true. I mean, I think it, it really has to start with your physical health. I mean, guys, you could be a billionaire. You could win the lottery tomorrow. But if you don't have your health, you have nothing. Yeah, it's true. That's exactly right. Right. And we're not banking on winning the lottery over here at Life After Kids. We're out there in the trenches with you, like forging our paths in this third phase of life, yeah. right? And Absolutely. trying to make it the best ever. And it really does come down to how much energy you have. It yeah. really does. Because the amount of energy you have is going to determine the amount of effort you can put out outside so of so good all of the daily decisions and the daily energy that you already take it's math it's simple math if you have extra energy left over then you're going to be able to put it forth into something right. creating something new if you have no energy Preach left it. over if you're out of deficit then you are going to just you know be losing uh not losing but you're just going to slowly diminish yeah. over time and that's not what who we are we're about creating Yes. Yes. So we've yeah, got to get creating, to more energy. Moving forward, doing better, being better, all of those things. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. It, and also we are very focused on aging well. So this is a big piece. Now here's the deal. I'm a huge proponent of eat your nutrients, right? Like the Same. more, the more that we can get our vitamins and our minerals and our nutrients from our food, the better, because the whole food form is always better. But there's two problems that with that. A, we're not always going to eat. Like there's just. There's, there's no perfect eating. No. And there's times where you're going to be busy. Like there's just, it's just hard to keep up with that hundred percent of the time. One and two, even if you were because of the soil that we have now, because of the way food is grown, it's virtually like food is just not as nutritious, even as it hold in its whole food farm as it used to be. So this is the thing. There are certain supplements, take for instance, magnesium, that we just don't get like we should in our food anymore because it would normally get into the foods from the soil and the soil is lacking. It's a really huge point, which we know because we're in this space, but if you're listening and this isn't, you know, healthcare isn't your, you know, you're in banking or whatever you're in, you really need to know that because, you know, one of the things that I met a lot with our clients is, well, you know, my grandmother didn't have to take that or, mm -hmm. you know, and the reason is guys is because of this point that Dr. Brooke just spoke to, which is our soil is depleted. We've grown crops on it over and over and over and over. There's only so yeah. much farmland and we've taken all the mineral and sucked it out of the soil. Yeah. So it can't, it's not there to go back into our food. So therefore, if you are not taking certain supplements, you are leaving energy and health on the table. Yes, that's that's right. Yeah, I couldn't have said it any better. And I spoke about magnesium and magnesium happens to make my short list of supplements that A, very inexpensive. And we've talked about magnesium before, but just to touch on it again, super important for your health yeah, on so there. many levels. What form should they take? Um, I like magnesium glycinate, especially if you're looking for magnesium to relax a little bit or take the edge off. Um, magnesium is a muscle relaxer, laxer and a nervous system calmer. <laughs> so magnesium glycinate is good. It also helps with sleep. Um, magnesium citrate can be really good, um, way to get the bowels moving as well. So if you need magnesium because you either know you're lacking or because, um, uh, you need to calm down and relax a little bit. You also have a sluggish bowel from time to time. Citrate may be the way to go. I'm currently taking magnesium malate and I really like that form. Um, it re is really relaxing. It just is in its gentle on my system. So on the other hand, with magnesium citrate, if you happen to be someone who gets an irritated bowel or gut easily, then citrate is probably one you would want to steer away from and go more towards glycinate. Those are great tips. Yeah. So, and like I said, I think I mentioned all of the, uh, one other perk. So there's the sleep, the muscle relaxation, the calming effect. Um, it can even sometimes help with palpitations. Um, 
And then it's also just great as a general, like it's probably the single most important mineral you could take even for hormones. There's a, a huge, huge magnesium deficiency in our just about population. pretty much everyone. This is one that I would say pretty much everybody needs to take. And by the way, with magnesium, your body has a natural way of telling you if you're getting too much because your stool will get too loose. That's great. So, yeah. So it's one of the ones you don't have to worry yep. about. Uh, before we go.